Hey folks, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be discussing about the HIV structure, entry and replication. So let's first see the structure of the HIV virus. So the HIV belongs to the retrovirus group. They are RNA containing viruses that replicate with the help of the reverse transcriptase or RNA dependent DNA polymerase. So what these enzymes does is it is going to convert the RNA strands to the DNA strands. So this is a schematic representation of the HIV virus. So here the virus it is having a cylindrical core containing two copies of single stranded genomic RNA which you can see in the figure. It consists of two copies of single stranded genomic RNA and the protein components they are named according to the molecular weight. So when you see a protein component as P10 it indicates that this protein is having a molecular weight of 10,000 Dalton. The core of the virus contains the reverse transcriptase, an endonuclease or integrin which is P32, then the nuclear capsule protein and a protease P10. The viral core is surrounded by the major capsid antigen P24 which is also having a clinical significance in that during the window period of the HIV infection. The P24 can be identified using the P24 antigen assay whereas negative is shown for the ELISA test. The outer core also consists of two glycoproteins which is GP120 and GP41. Here the surface antigen GP120 binds to the receptors present on the membrane. And the transmembrane protein GP41 undergoes conformational changes. Now the entry of the virus is as follows. The binding of the HIV with target cell is through a receptor mechanism. The GP120 as mentioned above of the virus envelope will specifically bind with the CD4 molecule on the surface of target cells. Now does the CD4 receptor uh, act as the receptors for the virus and the CD4 molecules are present on the surface of T helper cells and therefore helper cells are preferentially attacked by the HIV. Now the replication of the HIV, once after entering by binding to the, to the CD4 receptors of the target cell, the virus enters the cell and the viral RNA it is converted to a DNA strand which is known as a minor strand and the original RNA strand is hydrolyzed by the RNA's H protein and this minor strand is used as a template to produce another strand of DNA and that, in, that finally forms the proviral DNA. As you can see here, after the entry of the virus, there is a viral SSRNA which is a single stranded RNA and that will be used with the help of the polymerase enzyme. It will be converted to a minus DNA strand and this minus DNA strand will be creating another positive DNA strand or a plus DNA strand and this form the viral DS DNA and after which this proviral DNA is incorporated into the host cell DNA and that during the transcription process which is supposed to be taking place in the host cell during that process this proviral DNA gets transcribed and then these uh, the RNA molecules which are further formed uh, combines with all the other viral components and are and then through the process of exocytosis moves out of this cell and this target cell forms and acts like a HIV factory. That's it for today folks. If you honestly did understand the topic, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.